scientific method. Science is a framework for gaining and organizing knowledge. Science is not simply a set of facts, but also a plan of action. A procedure for processing, processing, and understanding certain types of information. The process that lies at the center of scientific inquiry is called the scientific method. Scientists conduct their study following this cycle of observation, predicting, and experimenting. After an experiment, a new observation will be formed that will undergo again the cycle. The three steps of scientific method. First, making observation. Observation may be qualitative or quantitative. A qualitative observation does not involve a number. For example, the outside air temperature is cooler during the winter season. Or, another one, dissolving a penny in a dilute nitric acid forms a blue solution and a brown gas. While quantitative observation, sometimes called a measurement, involves both number and a unit. For example, the melting point of crystalline sulfur is 115.21 degrees Celsius. Another example, 35.9 gram of table salt dissolves in 100 gram of water at 20 degrees Celsius. Second step, formulating hypothesis. A hypothesis is a possible explanation for an observation. The hypothesis may not be correct, but it puts the scientist's understanding of the system being studied into a form that can be tested. For example, the observation that we experience alternating periods of light and darkness corresponding to the observed movement of the celestial bodies is consistent with either two hypotheses. First hypothesis, Earth rotates on its axis every 24 hours. The second of the hypothesis, the sun revolves around the Earth every 24 hours. The third step, performing experiments. Experiments are systematic observation or measurements, preferably made under control condition in which a single variable changes. An experiment is carried out to test a hypothesis. This involves gathering new information that enables a scientist to decide whether the hypothesis is valid or not. That is, whether it is supported by the information learned from the experiment. Experiments always produce new observation, and this brings the process back to the beginning again. For example, of an experiment, in dinosaur extinction, region concentrations were measured worldwide and compared. Scientific models. Once a set of hypotheses that agree with the various observation is obtained, the hypotheses are assembled to create a model and juries. The words model and jury are sometimes used interchangeably, but the distinction between these two terms is that model is used for situation when it is known that the hypothesis has a limitation on its validity. For example, the Bohr model of the atom which depicts electrons circling the atomic nucleus in a fashion similar to planet in the solar system. Scientists often use such idealized models to get an initial grasp on analyzing complex situations. While Turing represents a hypothesis which has been confirmed through repeated testing, generally, a Turing is an interpretation or a possible explanation of why nature behaves in a particular way. Juries are evolving as more information becomes available. For example, the motions of the suns and the stars have remained virtually the same over the thousands of years during which humans have been observing them. But the juries for these motions have changed greatly since ancient times. And the last scientific models. Whereas Turing explains why a phenomena happened, law 
simply states what happens. It is a verbal or mathematical description of a phenomenon that allows for general prediction. For example, Pascal law. It refers to an equation that describes the difference in pressure based on height. Another example, Ohm's law, which states or describes the relationship of voltage, current, and resistance. Let's test your understanding. Now, classify each statement, whether quantitative observation, qualitative observation, hypothesis, experiment, theory, or law. Your answer must be commented or posted in the comment section in this video. All throughout our lecture, I have put test your understanding section where you have to answer in the comment section. This will be the basis for your participation all throughout the course.